have you spoken to him? I have. And or, earlier today, I assume. Yes. Um, how'd that go? You want to give us some intel? Sure. I um, I checked on to see if he was okay. Yeah. And um, I told him what I have said publicly. I, there's no place for political violence in our country. I am in this election and this race for many reasons, including to fight for our democracy. And in a democracy, uh, there, there is no place for political violence. We can and should have healthy debates and discussion and disagreements, but not resort to violence to, to resolve those issues. On January 6th, your vehicle was allowed to kind of pass a viable pipe bomb. We've seen... No, I was in the building. You were in the building. In the building. Um, uh -huh. And we've seen what's happening with um, former President Trump. Do you have full confidence in the Secret Service to protect all of you? I do. You, you feel safe for you and your family? I do. But, I mean, you can go back to Ohio. Not everybody has Secret Service. And there are far too many people in our country right now who are not feeling safe. I mean, I look at Project 2025, and I look at, you know, like the don't say gay laws coming out of Florida. Members of the LGBTQ community don't feel safe right now. Um, immigrants or people with an immigrant background don't feel safe right now. Women don't feel safe right now. And so, yes, I feel safe. I have Secret Service protection. But that doesn't change my perspective on the importance of, of fighting for the safety of everybody in our country and, um, and doing everything we can to, again, lift people up and not beat people down so they feel alone and are made to feel small and made to feel like they're somehow um, not a part of it or us. Madam Vice President, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I've appreciated this. Thank you. Thank you.